as far as uh, as far as the details of the project, you know, there's ten elements. My priority these days is to focus on adopting uh, continuous renewal, awareness, enjoyment, pride, and I kind of develop volition as an extra. Uh, volition would be part of kind of in between enjoyment and pride, more towards pride. I'm not really sure yet, but um, so I've been I've been working on assimilating those and. And what I'm finding, and so so I was focusing on assimilate uh, on assimilating those, and then and then because I want to get all all the elements, I want to get familiar with all the elements. I also decided to practice on grace, acknowledgement, and surface. Um, I did notice that when I practiced grace, it kind of brought along with it with the practice of grace, it kind of elicited um, enjoyment. Volition and pride, along with it, and I was trying to figure out why. Because grace has to do with action, not necessarily with with uh, your intentions behind those actions. But I guess it makes sense that you know when you connect the the the, the correct way to perform grace is to have pride, uh, enjoyment, pride, and volition in line. And you cannot perform grace appropriately unless you have those in line. So it makes sense. So, so now I'm thinking that because I'm familiar with the first four, or, or yeah, with the first four, or five, no, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. With the first four or five, now when I think of grace, the rest kind of piggyback on top of grace. So that's a good thing because that means I have to think less. You know? I don't have to focus on developing each each one individually. I have to hold less. You know, it it it, it kind of works like this. At first I had to at first I had to uh, hold four things four or five. Continuous renewal, awareness, enjoyment, pride, and uh, volition, the new one that I came up with, and hold them all in one. Um, and that was kind of hard because, you know, because it's a lot of them to hold in my mind. My working memory only has a, a certain amount of slots. And, uh, you know, when you got to focus, when you got to focus fully on each one of them in order to elicit it appropriately, it's even harder to, you know, hold one at a time. Hold, hold, all, hold all of them at a time. You can only be uh, you can only have one perspective at a time, and that that, get, that gets kind of tricky. Uh, but when you when I focus on practicing grace, I notice that they all come together, and they kind of piggyback on top of grace, so I can perform grace as I'm performing all of these, and that makes things easier. I think it turns out to be that you know when you try to practice grace, uh, the first time that I try to practice grace on its own it kind of brought some adverse effects and I wasn't really practicing it well because I wasn't familiar with the first part so that's a problem um, but once you have once you have the uh, the initial the initial parts to it you know the, the first parts to it uh, continuous renewal, awareness, enjoyment, pride then you can then when you practice grace all the other parts are already installed into it now you can now you know how to practice grace appropriately so Basically, once you have those, you don't need to worry about practicing anymore because they come automatically through the practice of grace. But you need to attain them first in order to you need to attain them first in order to practice grace appropriately. What it comes down to is that the only thing that you need to practice is grace. But you won't know how to perform grace appropriately unless you have analyzed the elements that compose it. Awareness, enjoyment, pride, and volition. Allowing others their freedom is a, is a sub-element, um, or used to be a sub-element, um, to, uh, to, to be able to enjoy the, the freedom of others and uh, in turn being able to enjoy your own freedom as well.
by allowing others their freedom, you're able to be more free yourself. So that that, that used to be a sub element uh, under enjoyment, but 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 as it's turning out to be more of a main action, which I keep. Every time I mention grace, every uh, every time I I go above the first four elements, continuous renewal, awareness, enjoyment, and uh, pride and uh, volition that I added in there. Uh, when I break into grace, I notice that all I'm performing is allow freedom. Um, so it might become a main element. Um, and then, uh, th then when I look into grace again, I realize that that grace has a different definition, but I'm using, uh, b but when I mention grace, I perform allow freedom. So uh, there might be some sort of term change that may go on there. But I'll just keep track of both I, both concepts and both terms for the time being, until I figure out what is what and where and where where each of one of them goes. Now, um, as far as allowing uh, allowing freedom, uh, the, the the experience is something like this: when you allow others their freedom, right? And and remember, you're trying to do this continuously, right? So it's not just a one-time thing, but you know, just like the rubber band, I stretch it out continuously. So it's a continuous reminder to allow others their freedom. And when you practice that, you realize how much how much freedom you were withholding, uh, you weren't allowing others to have. And basically you realize how much you're restraining the other or other the people around you and how much and how much of them you were hating. Because when you restrain others, that means that you're hating those aspects of them that you wish they would not perform you're hating those behaviors that you wish they would not uh, manifest so that's i mean the basis of uh, of restraining others is hate because you hate those aspects of them um and when you try to allow others their freedom you realize how much uh, you, you know your mind automatically wants to restrain others um and when you realize how much your mind automatically wants to restrain others and you make a you, you make a conscious effort to not do that you realize how much you you automatically hate others so so that's an interesting experience that I'm that I'm undergoing and the reason why this is important in, in uh, as far as practicality is because when you try to restrain others that's that's an extra concern in your mind that keeps you from achieving what you want that keeps you from achieving your ultimate goal that's a slowdown because you're so focused on restraining others and that restraining is an action is taking up your attention and it's not allowing you the freedom uh, you need in order to achieve your goals. So the way that this dynamic works is that you start off by hating some aspect or some behavior of the other, whether it's a person or a thing. And in order to not, in order to keep them from manifesting that, you restrain them, but in your restraining, you're kind of limiting your behavior to a certain action in order to keep them from performing that behavior. Um, and so in the process, because you're focusing your behavior to perform a certain thing in order to restrain their behavior, you're also restraining your own behavior. You're limiting your own behavior to do one certain thing. And, uh, you know, in real life, the way this manifests in, in, uh, in everyday life is that, you know, there's all these, uh, there's all these um, social expectations, you know, that you, you don't want people to act a certain way or to think of you in a certain way, you know, and, and so in, in that sense, you're limiting people from, <laughs> you're taking away their freedom of thought, or you want them to, I mean, because you want them to think a certain way, you do certain things to, to, uh, to uh, make them think of you in a certain way, and not only that, I mean, I mean, if you're concerned about what people think of you, if you're concerned about how people behave towards you, and any of that will make you beha behave in a certain way that will try to control how other people behave, and by controlling how other people behave, you have less freedom uh, as far as behaving in a way that's conducive to your goals.